Hi everyone, CG Seb here, and we are back for another tutorial on uh, Fluent Materializer. Uh, today we're going to learn how to make a road uh, with puddles on it, and later in the video we are going to add some dirt and make it uh, more uh, like dirty. So let's dive right in. So first of all, if you don't have Fluent, uh, the link is in the description and you're going to be able to follow uh, the tutorial once you install it. Mm, to start, we're going to press F and use the smart shader here, three layers. Boom. Okay, so to uh, open this, you go, you go on the right and you go to Fluent Panel and here you go to City. And as you can see, we have uh, actually three nodes that are very helpful to make a road. The first one is asf asphalt. Uh, this one is going to make the base of the road. So we're going to just uh, use the color. Um, actually, we don't need this layer because we're going to just plug the color here and normal here. And that's it. So to show it, uh, I'm gonna use Cycle. I recommend to use Cycle as a preview uh, render uh, because in EV it will uh, take longer to to load the, the textures and procedural textures uh, take longer to to load on EV. Um, so yeah, you have the basic of the the asphalt. So it's the very basic of the road. You see, very basic road. And on the road, you usually have a line in the middle. Uh, so we're going to use here the line roads. Up. And we're going to plug the mask into this one. So what it does, it actually makes a mask. And it uses the second layer here as the color for the lines. So you can make it as you want. Uh, depending on your country, the, the lines are different colors, uh, different meanings. Uh, you can, if it's not in the right uh, direction, you can actually rotate it here on the Z axis, as you can see, or probably another axis, depending on the rotation of your object. Uh, for me, it's right at the first time, so it's perfect. Uh, you can actually uh, change the gap between the lines. You can change the thickness of the lines, etc., etc. You can change the scale and so on. So we're going to go with something like this probably. Looks nice. Good. So we're going to plug the uh, normal of uh, the road line here and we're going to put the no more strength to the maximum here. Um, so we have basic road and we want to make it uh, like it's it has rained. Uh, so we want to add some puddles, right? Um, to do that, we can actually uh, use this mix layer and we don't really need uh, this layer. So we're going to remove it. Uh, we're going to go here and choose Puddle. And plug the mask into the mask and the normal into the normal. Uh, now it's look a little bit weird. It's Everything is orange. Uh, it's strange, right? Because this is the color of the puddle. But what color should we put? Because what color is the puddle? But uh, the trick is actually to take the color here of the road and plug it into the second color. And we can slightly see here a little variation, but it's not uh, too much because it's actually the roughness that is influencing this. So to make it shiny like it has rained, we need to put like a very low number and boom, we have some 
water on the road. Um, to actually uh, change it, uh, we're going to press Control Shift, click on the Puddle node, and we're going to see here uh, what is actually doing. So everywhere you have some white, it's where the water will appear. So we can change here the coverage, make it more or less important. And to change here, because we have like a very small puddle, maybe you have you want a very big one, then you need to actually decrease the scale of this. And boom, you have it. Now it's a little bit bigger. Uh, we're gonna control shift click on the principal shader to see more the big image. Um, probably will increase the scale a little bit, make it something like that, and boom. Um, probably increase, decrease, sorry, the coverage. Bam. And we can increase a little bit the strength, but not too much here. Um, yeah, so we have the base of the road here. Um, and now we want to make it like it's used, like damaged by the cars and everything that is um, passed on it, like trucks and everything. So we're going to go somewhere here, select this node, go to uh, normals. And we're gonna select the cracked paint here. Boom. Uh, to do that, uh, we're gonna actually need to plug the normal into the normal of the road lines and into the normal of the asphalt. Uh, we don't see anything yet. Uh, that's totally normal. We need to tweak to tweak the settings here. So we're gonna increase a little bit the strength and to see what we are doing we're going to press ctrl shift click on the cracked paint so we are in this mask here um, so we can actually go to the normal node by click uh, ctrl shift click multiple times until you go to the normal here and we're going to play with uh, this actually this settings as you can see we quickly uh, go to the big uh, to the big like destroy world um, so you're gonna press shift to actually be able to set it more properly so maybe something like this um, so we're gonna control shift click on this and boom, we have some imperfection on the road. Um, a very cool thing about this cracked paint is that you can actually use the mask to show something beneath the, the road. Like here, we can see a, um, a hole, but it's actually the same road. So we're going to click on the principal shader press F and pr uh, click mix layers here. And now we have, if we go here, we have layer in between. We're gonna plug the mask here on the mask of this one. And we can see the, uh, actually the cracked paint, this node acting a little bit uh, more. So probably we can make something like looks like dirt, so something brownish, very dark. Yeah, probably something like that. Mm. The problem is that you can see here on the the hole here, it's too flat. Uh, the reason for that, first of all, is the roughness. We need to put it to one. And we need to add some details here, so it's it looks a little bit more realistic. Um, to do that, we're gonna select this node, may put it 
somewhere here and we're going to add a uh, grunge here you go to grunges and select number three it's pretty cool uh, we're going to use the normal and boom it looks a little bit more uh, realistic now all right so we have holes in the ground um, if you don't see uh, the the holes like that let me find one where are they here if you don't see like the holes here it's because you need to tweak uh, these settings like the hole size here if you hold shift you can increase or decrease actually the the damage so you can actually uh yeah put it as you like and once you're happy with it uh you can just uh you can go to the next step so for me i think it looks a little bit too uh saturated so maybe something more darker and less saturated so it looks more like dirt uh, so that's nice. We have some imperfection a little bit everywhere and we have a little bit of dirt uh, But I want to add more dirt like a little bit here and Not only where it's damaged So we select the principal shader we press F and once again mix layer We select this put it on the side and put this to the bottom uh, for this, we're gonna use also a grunge number three, and we're gonna plug the results into the mask here. Like we see before, it looks orange because this is this color, so we're gonna make it look like dirt. That's a little bit less saturated. I think something like that, but it's obviously too much dirt on this road. Uh, unless you want to make it uh, a little bit uh, a, lo a lot a lot of dirt uh, you need to adjust here the coverage so control shift click everything that is actually uh, white it's gonna be dirt so if you lower the coverage you're gonna reduce the dirt mm, for me it looks a little bit too small those parts of dirt so I'm gonna play with the scale and decrease the scale to make more like big chunk of dirt on the road probably something like that so control shift click on the principal shader and now it looks more realistic uh, we forgot to plug in the normal so you need to plug the normal into the normal too you can increase or decrease the normal as you like and boom you have it um, you can decrease a little bit the roughness so it will make here the dirt a little bit more shiny so it's like wet dirt so it's more uh, more realistic and yeah so um, that was it for today's video I hope you enjoyed uh, if you do please let me know in the comment section and see you on the next one